never let the haters win. Never let the haters win. Ever. Now, before we get into what that means, what it means to me, what that means, or what that means to you or to other people, let me first just say welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Julian Galvis. For most of my videos, I do calisthenics-based workouts, but starting last week, okay, and then now, and then the following Saturdays, um, I do discussions, okay, and they can be on a variety of topics, including philosophy, life, fitness, goals, relationships, <laughs> whatever, right? You know, any, any type of topic that might be on my mind, I want to talk about, okay? So last week I talked about how consistency and discipline are everything. Now today I'm going to talk on a very personal, very special topic, okay? About never letting the haters win. Because first off, let's first define what a hater is, a hater. Okay, now, first of all, the term hater, um, that is more of, of a slang kind of term. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not something you would hear um, a, someone in a book, right? An academic book or, some, or like someone in an academic setting speak on. Okay, or, or at least they wouldn't use that word. They wouldn't use the word hater. Okay, they would use something else. Okay, so to me, the word hater, okay, that, that means someone who has nothing better to do than to hate to be negative, right? To project their insecurities on other people, okay? And haters can come in all shapes and sizes, all forms, all shapes, all sizes, everywhere. everywhere. They can be coworkers. They're, they can be people who you think are your friends. They can be your family members. But most importantly, the biggest hater is here, up here. So what do I mean by that? The biggest hater is here, here. All right, what I mean is that our biggest haters can be our minds, what, what goes on in our minds. Okay, for instance, take, take me for example. So I just got done doing um, a workout um, before this video, before I showered, before I got my coffee, all that stuff. And during the workout, you'll see, um, during this workout, I felt like giving up. I felt like throwing in the towel. I felt like giving up because um, it was... <laughs> so before, before that workout even started, um, I did a workout, which was supposed to be more, my, my workout video, but there's a big problem with the recording process. And I was already halfway done with the workout. And so I had, I pretty much had to redo the entire workout when I was already tired. It was cold. I, I felt sluggish, all that stuff. But I was like, you know what? I got to redo it because this is what I set out to do during that part of the workout in the video, as I was saying, I felt like giving up. Okay, I felt like giving up. I, I kept saying to myself, oh, it's okay. You can just do the video tomorrow. You can just do the same thing tomorrow. And so the biggest hater was up here. It was up here. Okay, it was me telling myself, oh, it's okay. You can just give up. You know, you're tired. You, know, you, can't, you can't do this. You can't do that. Okay, so typically when we think of haters, there are other people. But the biggest hater is usually up here. And, and that's something that I learned today. Or, or that's something that I found out today. Now, I'm not saying that the, the haters outside don't exist, because they definitely do. Um, they could definitely be people that are closest to us, okay? Or uh, uh, people on the internet, right? You know, like, like for instance, I had, I had one of my first hate mail uh, uh, things the other, the other day, you know, so that, that can be a hater, okay? That can be whatever. So as I was saying before, haters have nothing better to do than just to be negative. And how do we respond to, to haters? Well, the, well, the thing we don't do is we don't react, right? We don't give that, we don't get all emotional. We don't do all that stuff. We have a very calm, stoic um, reaction to them, which oftentimes can be no reaction, okay? Or, or we just kind of process it and be like, all right, okay. Um, Let's see, for, for the older audience here, um, or for people who have seen this movie, uh, um, that movie Goodfellas, okay, I'm sure um, you guys have seen the, the movie Goodfellas with Joe Pesci, Ray Liotta, um, and uh, Robert De Niro. Um, there, there was one scene where um, they were all in the bar with, with Billy Batts, right, you know, a character, a made man uh, um, in the mafia, who had just come back from prison, um, and he was... Uh, like, you know, giving, giving, uh, 
Joe Pesci, right? Um, who in the movie was called Jimmy, a hard time. Well, it was, it was kind of like bantering. He was kind of like, you know, just, just that, that kind of stuff, like warehouse talk or just, just what guys do, you know? Um, but, but Joe, but Joe Pesci took offense to it and everything like that. Um, and then later on in the movie, when, when, when Joe Pesci left, um, J uh, let's see, oh, wait, no, no, um, Joe Pesci's character was called Tommy. Okay. So Tommy left. Um, and then Robert De Niro's character, whose name was Jimmy. Um, he, he told Billy Bats when, when Tommy left, that's like, Hey, you were like, kind of pushed him a little bit and everything like that. And then Billy Bats was saying, Oh no, I didn't. No, I didn't. But then, then Jimmy, his, his only reaction was okay. Okay. Right, so that was a perfect reaction. Okay. Now, uh, um, I'm not saying J or Billy Bats was a hater. Okay. But the point I'm trying to make is, is Jimmy's reaction saying, okay, okay. That's a perfect reaction to, to the haters, right? No emotions, just smiling, but you got, but you know, in silence, in, in silence and in through action, you'll get your revenge. Okay. So never let the haters win. Never let the haters win. Never let them win. The haters can come in all shapes, si sizes, and forms. They can be out there. They can be people closest to us. But most importantly, the hater is up here. So never let the hate, the biggest hater, yourself, never let that win. Never let that win. Just a second. Because if you do, then you're going to look back when you're old and you're going to say, geez, I had this one opportunity to fight for what I believed in, to, to push my limits, right? And other people's limits, to push other people's expectations of me aside, right? What they think I couldn't do. Right. So the point I'm trying to make you guys is never let the haters win. And I say again, never let the haters win. All right, you guys, this was the Saturday morning coffee episode two. I'll see you guys next Saturday for episode three. Okay. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button and welcome. My name is Julian Galvez. Once more, pleasure, the pleasure and the honor is mine. And if you guys are or have been loyal subscribers, thank you for subscribing once more. And I'll see you next Saturday for morning coffee, Saturday morning coffee, episode three. See you then.